Ways to build lifetime reading habit To start with, understand that perusing is profoundly charming, on the off chance that you have a decent book. In the event that you have a terrible book, or an amazingly troublesome one, and you are driving yourself through it, it will appear to be a task. On the off chance that this occurs for a few days straight, consider deserting the book and discovering one that you'll truly adore. Set Occasions you ought to have a couple of set occasions during consistently when you'll peruse for at any rate 5-10 minutes. These are times that you will peruse regardless triggers that happen every day. Furthermore, on the off chance that you additionally read each time you're perched on the can, and when you hit the hay, you currently have 4 times each day when you read for 10 minutes each or 40 minutes every day. That is an extraordinary beginning, and without help from anyone else would be an amazing day-by-day -day understanding propensity. In any case, there's more you can do. Continuously convey a book. Any place you go, take a book with you. At the point when I take off from the house, I generally make a point to have my driver's permit, my keys and my book, at least. The book stays with me in the vehicle, and I bring it into the workplace, and to arrangements and basically wherever I go, except if I realize I certainly will not peruse, like at a film. In the event that there is the point at which you need to pause, like at a specialist's office, or at the DMV, whip out your book and read. Extraordinary approach to take a break. Make a rundown. Keep a rundown of the relative multitude of incredible books you need to peruse. You can keep this in your diary, in a pocket notepad, on your own landing page, on your own wiki, any place. Make certain to add to it at whatever point you catch wind of a decent book, on the web or face to face. Keep a running rundown, and cross out the ones you read. Text stunt, make a Gmail represent your book rundown, and email the location each time you find out about a decent book. Presently your inbox will be your understanding rundown. At the point when you've perused a book, record it underdone. On the off chance that you need, you can even answer to the message, to a similar location, with notes about the book, and those will be in a similar discussion string. So now your Gmail account is your perusing log as well. Locate a tranquil spot. Discover a spot in your home where you can sit in an agreeable seat, don't sit down except if you're resting, and twist up with a decent book without interferences. There ought to be no TV or PC close to the seat to limit interruptions, and no music or boisterous relatives slash flatmates. In the event that you don't have a spot this way, make one. Decrease TV or Internet On the off chance that you truly need to understand more, have a go at scaling back TV or Internet utilization. This might be hard for some individuals. In any case, each moment you decrease of internet slash TV, you could use for perusing. This could make long stretches of book understanding time. Peruse to your child. In the event that you have kids, you should, should peruse to them. Making the perusing propensity in your children is the most ideal approach to guarantee they'll be perusers when they grow up. And it will assist them with being effective in life also. Locate some incredible youngsters' books and read to them. Simultaneously, you're building up the perusing propensity in yourself and investing some quality energy with your kid also. Keep a log. Like the understanding rundown, this log ought to have not just the title and writer of the books you read, yet the dates you start and finish them if conceivable. Far superior, put a note close to each with your contemplations about the book. It is incredibly fulfilling to return over the log two or three months to see all the extraordinary books you've perused. Go to utilized bookshops. I regularly spend two or three dollars for at least 12 books, so despite the fact that I read a great deal, books are certifiably not a significant cost. What's more, it is exceptionally amusing to peruse the new books individuals have given. Make your outing to a trade in bookshop something customary. Have a library day. Significantly less expensive than a trade-in bookshop is a library, obviously. Make it a week-after-week -week trip. Understand fun and convincing books. Discover books that truly hold you and make all the difference for you. Regardless of whether they aren't abstract works of art, they make you need to peruse, and that is the objective here. After you have developed the understanding propensity, you can proceed onward to more troublesome stuff, yet until further notice, go for the fun, holding stuff. Make it pleasurable. Make your perusing time your number one season of day.
pass some great tea or espresso while you read, or another sort of treat. Get into an agreeable seat with a decent cover. Peruse during dawn or dusk or at the seashore. Set a significant standard. Reveal to yourself that you need to peruse 50 books this year, or some other number that way. At that point set about attempting to achieve it. Simply be certain you're actually getting a charge out of the perusing however don't make it a surge task.